Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo VR. As I promised some weeks before, I will have uh, some new upcoming video series of modded VR headsets. And as I promised in the last weeks, the first one will be the HP Reverb G2 gasket that you can find on Thingiverse with a 3D printer. So I will show you how to assemble it completely yourself. So to um, print it, to give it to a company that prints for you, the magnets, the straps and the nose guard here so that uh, there will not, not come any lights uh, from the bottom into the headset. So as you can see, the HP Reverb G2 has a big problem with the field of view. Otherwise, the whole world wouldn't uh, think about modding the face gasket, right? <laughs> so I will show it to you now. I hope you like it. You can find everything about VR AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Andy DeFelser, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape and Adam's Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, so here we go. This is the gasket that I printed with my 3D printer. <laughs> and what I uh, just wanted to say you, thank you so much for all the comments on my uh, G2 review. And I didn't expect that, but most people confirmed my review that the G2 has different problems, for example, with the field of view. It's just not small and uh, not big enough, okay? Uh, it's For me, it's even smaller than with the Oculus Quest 2. And this is for me a big problem and for many people as well. So this is the reason why everybody um, tries to mod the G2. There, is, uh, there m must be a reason for that. So this is the proof of that. So um, the first thing <coughs> is that you, of course, have to print uh, the face gasket. Uh, if you don't have your own 3D printer, just send it to a company. I, I put some uh, companies in the description below where you can do that. Choose your color. Uh, I, I, choose, I printed it in red, but be careful if you have very uh, bright lights, then it could shine through the, um, to the red color. But no, if you have a normal room, it, uh, it should be fine. However, if you like to print it in black, no problem. So what you're gonna do is uh, I will uh, disassemble it for now again so that I can show it to you. Here you go. So this is what uh, I printed and the first thing is that I put the velcro straps here around. You don't need to use the, the whole uh, area here just like I did that, it's totally enough. And then for the nose part, I will show you what I choose. For the nose part, just uh, put um, the um, glue here, uh, or, or I would say tape. Uh, I choose tape, it's better here on the nose part. And the first thing that you're gonna do, uh, I bought the um, facial interface and foam replacement for Oculus Quest. So this is the set with uh, two of the leather um, face covers, VR covers, and um, the plastic um, insert, the, the face gasket with the, with the rubber um, nose guard here. And what you're gonna do is um, cut off the two small uh, rubber parts here and then just place it here. Give me a second, like here and here and here. Awesome, right? Look at this. Look at this, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> so there's no light leakage coming from um, the bottom. And then the next thing, just place the cover thing here. Give me one second. Like this. That's beautiful, right? <laughs> so you have the leather cover here and the nose guard. And that's absolutely cool. And uh, the next thing is, of course, you need the magnets here. They are not 3D printed, of course. If you check out the Thingiverse file that I put in the description below, there is a problem with that. They want you to buy these magnets and they don't fit into the holes. Be very careful. I printed version nine of the STL file. Don't buy them, buy the, um, 
ones that I put in the description below. They are really small, they're really small. Uh, they, they are too small for the holes, but um, that's good because um, I have a little bit of this isolating um, um, tape here and just, um, just glue it or put it around the five, you need five of these two uh, of these small magnets per hole and then just um, tape it around 1.5 times and then it fits perfectly into the four holes of the uh, G2 modded gasket and that's awesome, that's really awesome. Um, so, so please use these uh, for the straps, uh, for the velcro straps I just bought this year on Amazon, this is no problem. You can find the link in the description below as well. And then, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Just put it here. Voila, here you go. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? It's totally awesome. And uh, then make sure the face uh, stuff is inserted here and it's so nice. It's really comfortable. It's just a Quest 2 VR cover and it fits really good. There's nearly no light leakage coming from here. Only a little bit, but you, you can choose to uh, put the rubber of the, um, of the nose guard um, over the foam, not under the foam if you like. So yeah, that's awesome. It's very comfortable, of course. So if you want to buy this Quest 2 uh, VR cover set, you can find it in the description below as well. As I said, it's called Facial Interface and Foam Replacement for Oculus Quest 2. You get two leather straps, the face gasket that you don't need, uh, and the nose guard. Just <coughs> rip the nose guard away and use it for the G2. Okay, guys, as you... Uh, no, I had a big problem with the field of view with the standard face gasket and now let's go into the field of view test tool and try it again. I'm totally looking forward to see the difference between the standard gasket and the modded one. Let's have some fun. Okay guys, here we are in the field of view test tool and yeah. I must say I already have my results here, but we can of course enter again if you like. So I move, uh, I didn't move my head of course, and I see the red dots at the bottom and the top at 100 degrees. If I switch more to 102, I don't see it anymore. So it's 100 um, and then let's uh, go to the vertical field of view here. And this is the same with 88. If I switch to 90, I don't see the lines anymore at 88. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, like this, I just see them at the edges of the screen. So, as you can see, holy shit, the controls with this. Um, as you can see, it's a little different, of course, to my result with the standard uh, um, face gasket. Uh, before that, before the mod, I had 94 vertical and 78 horizontal. So as you can see, this is a lot improved. But now I ask the question, why on earth didn't HP do that with the standard gasket? Yeah, I, I don't understand that. Why do I have to mod my VR headset to have a standard field of view. So now I have the same field of view like with all the other headsets like Vive, like Rift, like Quest 2. If that would be the case when it, uh, the headset was released, I wouldn't complain about the field of view. I mean, I must still say I love big field of views and I would always prefer the Index and of course the Pimax 8KX over the G2. But now it's I think it's fine. I, I we have the standard field of view. But next time to HP, please consider a bigger field of view. This is not the future of virtual reality, as HP said. It's not. It's perhaps the future of the displays, but that's it. Nothing else. So guys, if you have the um, G2, and as you saw perhaps in the comments and especially on my German channel, lot of people were my opinion, most people were my opinion about the small field of view. 
And um, if you are also my opinion that the field of view could much be improved, then check out the link in the description below. You find the link to the 3D printer file of Thingiverse, the link to the magnets and the link to the um, Velcro strap so that you can uh, align the VR cover um, to the to the strap so uh, to the face gasket so of course it depends on you which VR cover you prefer I choose the one from Quest 2 and it's pretty cool I think if you even choose a smaller thinner one then it could even be better so however guys I hope you liked the video if you want to see more very honest and brutal reviews <laughs> subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality see ya